A native of West Seneca, New York, Jeff Wolnowitz played golf at Binghamton from 2003 to 2007. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in business management in 2007 and went to earn his MBA from Binghamton in 2009. A three-time all-region selection and two-time captain, Wolnowitz led the Bearcats to a pair of NCAA regional appearances in his four-year tenure. He graduated holding the second-lowest scoring average in the 19-year history of the sport. As a sophomore, Wolnowitz was named first-team All-New England after producing a 74.2 scoring average. In 12 tournaments, he had eight top-10 performances. In his junior season, Wolnowitz led the Bearcats to their third NCAA appearance in a five-year span. His year was highlighted with medalist honors at the New England Championship, where his opening round of 68 led the Bearcats to a pivotal team win. Wolnowitz held down a 74.3 scoring average in his senior season, which included six top 10 tournament finishes. He was ranked as high as number two in the Northeast. Off the course, Wolnowitz was a three-time National Scholar Athlete recipient, two-time America East Scholar Athlete, and two-time SUNY Chancellor's Award winner. He won the university's 2007 Jake Pittler Award for Athletics Career Achievement and Leadership. Jeff Wolnowitz, forever enshrined in the Binghamton University Athletics Hall of Fame. Although Jeff's being honored here today for his golf, I think my lasting impressions of him focus more around the all-around individual he is. You know, he's a great friend, he's a great teammate, he was also a very, very good student, and I think him and his family should be just as proud of his accomplishments in those three areas as they are of his accomplishments on the golf course. Jeff really progressed from his freshman year until he graduated. He really showed his maturity and becoming a captain on the team for great reason. Jeff always led by example and would do whatever he could to make his teammates better. This is why the team and he did so well during his tenure. I think what really makes Jeff a great golfer and an even better competitor is just his ability to focus. Um, Jeff's never out of a match. He could be having the worst day ever, but he'll get a look on his face, and you know it's he's going to give it everything he's absolutely got. There's no quit. Well, when I think about Jeff, and we've had a number of conversations since he's graduated, uh, I couldn't be prouder that A, he got a haircut, and B, that uh, he has gone on to achieve so much in his own career we knew that all the attributes that he possessed would uh, set him up for a really bright future. I think Jeff will agree with me when I say there's nothing he hated more than losing. When you combine that will to win with the great short game he had, I think the end result is a golfer who has the ability to post low scores, but also has the ability to grind out a decent score when he doesn't have his A game, and ultimately that led to the consistency. I spoke earlier about how Jeff hates losing. And there's no greater display of this than at the Yale Invitational. We were all sitting in the van after the round and Kevin Crawford had just shot a 66. Uh, we were all congratulating him and then I turned over to Jeff and you know, kind of called him out and I said, aren't you the guy that's supposed to be shooting 66 for our team? And sure enough, next morning he goes out, fires a solid 66. To this day, I still take credit for that round and say there's no way he shoots that 66 if I don't call him out. To bring Jeff on as a grad assistant, uh, we knew that he possessed the three qualities we were looking for. He was extremely competent, he was a really uh, hard worker, and he had a great uh, ethic and loyalty, and he was a real positive person. I have a personal message for Jeff. Um, just want to say congratulations, buddy. Uh, it's, it's been a long time coming, and uh, I'm not surprised, honestly. Um, you know. You worked your butt off in college. You performed on the golf course. You, you killed it in class. You even had fun outside of class and golf um, as much as any of us. But you got it done. And, uh, you know, you definitely taught me a lot of things over the course of my experience and my life that I've taken away, that I've applied, that have absolutely been a benefit to me personally. And I just can say thank you for that.